Pakistan Foreign Minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi has gone into a self-imposed quarantine for at least five days after his return from China, while Pakistani authorities work to contain the spread of the coronavirus disease, COVID-19. Qureshi was on a two-day visit to China with President Arif Alvi and Minister of Planning, Development and Special Initiatives Asaf Umar, they had been invited by Chinese President Xi Jinping. Diplomatic sources said the Pakistani delegation was tested for COVID-19 before and after the trip. The results came out negative. But their blood samples were taken again in the late hours of Tuesday, the results are expected today. Qureshi and others don't have any symptoms of COVID-19. But Chinese doctors recommended that the Pakistani delegation self-quarantine for at least five days as a precautionary measure. Based on the recommendation, the delegation will be checked again after the five-day period. Rapid spread. COVID-19 has spread like wildfire across Pakistan. The national tally is 249, after the federal government decided to transfer Pakistani pilgrims from the Iran Taftan border to their respective provinces. They were quarantined for at least 14 days at the border. Provincial governments have taken it upon themselves to test all entering pilgrims and have allocated isolation units to quarantine them. Pakistan has closed its borders with Iran and Afghanistan, it has banned large public gatherings and closed markets, malls and educational institutions. The rise in COVID-19 cases, emerging from all parts of the country, has raised serious questions over the federal government's capability to tackle the outbreak at the Taftan border. So far, Sindh province has reported the highest number of cases. There is a massive inflow of pilgrims, causing locals to fears to fear the spread of the virus. PM appeals for joint fight. In his first address to the nation on COVID-19, Prime Minister Imran Khan called for calm and a joint fight against the pandemic, and underscored the need for protective measures to win the war against the pathogen. I want to tell you that this virus will spread further, he said on Tuesday. Keep that in mind. It is spreading in other parts of the world where there are better medical facilities and hospitals and where institutions are stronger. Khan said the option of a national lockdown was considered but ruled out because people, including 25% of the population who live in extreme poverty, could die of hunger. He said the virus was dangerous for old people as it attacked their already weakened immune system, but added that 97% of those infected had recovered. 